I'm John Harold with Zytron. Thank you for joining us. For the next few minutes, we're going to see what it takes to build a simple workflow in Zytron's Navigator GPS. We'll do this through the client interface, which can be on Mac OS or Windows PC. Start by going to the Workflows menu and selecting New Workflow. Give it a meaningful name so that others will understand what kind of jobs should be routed here. We'll call ours 150 LPI 2540 DPI CTP, which means these jobs will be imaged with 150 line per inch halftones at a resolution of 2540 dots per inch. Click OK and the system automatically creates a hot folder that gets shared on the network without any further intervention on your part. Other users will be able to drop PDFs into these folders for automated processing or they can use their own client interface to interact with the workflow. To complete the setup, let's configure settings. We'll start by dragging in a RIP and configuring specific settings. We'll select the page setup from the RIP. Then we'll tell it we want to turn on in-RIP trapping. We'll also tell the system to pause jobs after ripping so that we can verify the output is correct by using the built-in viewer. Finally, we'll drag the RIP output icon into the workflow and then exit the edit mode. We now have a basic workflow in place. Let's use it to RIP a job. The easiest way to get a job into the system is drag and drop. Select a PDF or a PostScript file, drag it to the main workflow window, or to the workflow listing on the left side of the client. You'll see that the job shows up in the job list, and the system keeps you updated as to what is happening. There, the job is finished ripping, and the pause command is active. We can now select the job and click the preview button to view it. Here we can zoom into various areas and check things like traps and overprints. If everything looks good, simply click the forward button and we're making plates. 